Kara, good evening, and welcome to this week's Poetry Club meeting. Now, we have a lot of talking points to get through tonight, but let's start things off with your creative exercises. I'm sure you remember this week's topic, barnyard animals. So who has a poem they would like to share tonight? Ah, Barry, I love your enthusiasm. What have you got for us? I wrote a poem about my favorite cow. Oh, lovely, take us away, Barry. Some cows are tiny, some cows are small. Some cows are so little you can't see them at all. But some cows are massive, yes, some cows are huge. Some cows could drown you in a dairy deluge. Some cows are mighty, some cows are meek. But there's only one cow that I shag every week. <laughs> if it wasn't for Bessie, I don't know what I'd do. The most beautiful music is the sound of her moo. <laughs> Some say that I shouldn't, but I know that I must. Make her udders swing backwards and forwards as I thrust. Okay, Barry, that's when enough. I'm with Bessie, it feels like a dream. She gives me her milk and I give her my cream. Okay, Barry, that's enough. That was completely inappropriate. Please sit down. they would like to share? I have one that's about a goose. <laughs> Thank you, Celine. Please, go on. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, goose, sweet goose, your cloaca is loose. Celine! Fill me up with your goosey juice. Celine! <laughs> no more of that. Please sit down. Does anyone else have a poem they would like to share tonight? Anyone? I've prepared a limerick <laughs> about a shit in there! <laughs> Alright, anyone who has written a poem for tonight, please raise your hand. Great. Now, keep your hand raised if your poem does not explicitly describe sexual acts performed with animals. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. You should all be deeply ashamed of yourselves. Bestiality was last week's topic. 